Hi guys, it's uh, Stu from UK B-Man and uh, just doing a quick little hive inspection today. Uh, I've got some concerning uh, mess on the front of my newly painted new hive that I did the transfer, just like you saw in the last video. Link is just up by there. And uh, I don't know if I'm, or not me personally, but I don't know if the bees are potentially suffering with something called Nosema. Now, Nosema is a parasite, it's a virus uh, that the bees suffer with, which causes dysentery uh, and something to do with the, uh, the the middle area of the gut. Well, there's two actual aspects to it. There's two uh, Nosemas, Nosema apis and Nosema something else. But Nosema is generally that. It is usually treated with antibiotics, but I think from what I know, those antibiotics are very hard to come by in the United Kingdom, places like Canada, America, you get them quite well. I'm gonna show you what that looks like on the outside to why I'm concerned, and I'm gonna get your thoughts on it, so post the link. And I'm also gonna come up with an additional theory to what else it might be. Now today is April the 12th, I think, 11th, 12th, one of those, and it is about 12 degrees outside, but it feels much warmer than that. Slightly overcast at present, which is not the best conditions for us to be going in. Um, however, I have concerns. It's five o'clock. I'm gonna go in. It's always so much fun when you get a smoking like this. So this is what I was on about. Now, usually, like about half hour ago, this hive was swarming, uh, not swarming, sorry, bad word to say for beekeeping. It was heaving, absolutely heaving. And I noticed on this freshly painted all the poop just by here. And I thought, no, no, please don't say it's Nasima. You know, this isn't good. So that is why I'm concerned. However, Nasima, you normally get big wet marks. And it just looks really awful. I'm assuming that potentially the hive was congested, trying to get through the small little reducer. And they were crawling all around it, which I saw. And they just decided to have a poop. Because, let's be honest, if you've had bad weather for a few days, and you're holding it in because you don't want to defecate in the hive, well, this is the best place to do it. As you can see, there are a few foragers returning. Literally 30 minutes ago, prior to me getting concerned, I was like, <laughs> I gotta get in there. This was literally madness. I mean, it was carnage. They were everywhere. So, let's take this off a second then. That's a busy hive. It's not annoying. And send them down. And now they come on their mission to tell me off. Go away. And as you saw in the last video, I cleaned that up. Oh, let's check. Make sure Queenie's not on here. A pile of drone cells just across by here. You can obviously see the fondant on the top, which they're still enjoying. And there's a busy hive, but they're still centrally clustered to around this section. Nothing on the rear. So, a little look. Okay, so they are, well they have, no, that's previous year I believe. Let me good look through. Hello, how are you doing, darling? Place your bed there. The lavender scented, remember. So I can't see no obvious sign of dysentery. Dysentery would generally be across the top. And obviously I cleaned those on the last one. Okay, we have got some brood by here. You can see, not brood, sorry, um, it's 
storing. You can actually watch them store where they're doing pollen on the looks of it. You can see a little bit of bread inside there. Which is quite fun to see. It's good to see that they're on this side of the frame. So they have got some good use there. You can see some dropped pollen. Now that's another place you want to be looking is to see Obviously there is lots of pollen dropped on the floor inside of the hive. We want to be looking to see if there is any sign of one, Varroa, and two, if there is any poo droppings. Now there's a little bit in there I can see on the bottom. Nothing from normal. Okay. You're a busy high uh, frame. You can see lots and lots of honey and pollen in there. So they're storing this up first before, obviously, look at all that pollen stores. Wow, that is incredible, beautiful. God, they're really burying. Look at that young lady by there, deep inside. I mean, she is deep in there. There's loads, fascinating. Also, at the same time, I'm inspecting just to make sure that uh, I don't see no particular signs of Varroa, which are little red mites that look like this. And I can't see none in my hive, so that's good. Also, I did not see Queenie. And this is not, like I said, this is not your prime time to be in your hive. Now, this is the one that has some drone cells on it some beard in below okay now we have some cat brood on this one and it's a good much better you can see them of all sort of ages by their sealed eggs older larvae so very healthy looking some stored honey up in the top so do you know what to be fair i don't blame them for not filling up the top may have an emerging honeybee by there yeah we have you keep watching you'll see one burrowing out now that's actually really impressive to see making their way through welcome to the little world now you come let's hope queenie's not on the other side just helping their way through. Almost there. Chewing your way through. A couple of worker bees just on her saying hello, how you come. Let me double check. Because this is the side with drones. Yeah, there's Queenie as I thought. Straight away. You gotta be so careful with that. Just to make sure you don't, but you can see. Plenty of drones, some stored honey on this side. Nothing too lower. But yeah, you can obviously right by there. Queenie's at the top of the frame, just by there. So let's get you back down in there. Loads and loads of different aspects of it. Once again, looking down into your hive, into the bottom. A few that have fallen off. Not looking too well, but then they could be overwintered bees also having their uh, goodbyes. They've done a wonderful job, truly really grateful. Normal sort of aspects, nothing to be overly concerned by. So that's it from me guys, thank you very much for watching and as you can see I did promise on the last video a little tour of my new man cave that I'm currently making. This man cave is pr it's pretty much where I'm going to do everything to do with making my honey etc. Okay in this little section by here there may be a little bit of you know um normal shed stuff like a lawnmower and stuff but generally this is going to be the workshop of where I make my honey. If the ladies want to make me honey that is anyway enough of me talking 
summarizing on the events of today it looks like just because we've had a bit of cold weather over the last few days in the united kingdom uh this is in wales more into the mountains the likelihood is they haven't gone out venturing and that basically then creates them to hold everything in while they're in the hive if they're in there longer then obviously they have to do their defecation potentially inside and clean it up afterwards however they've done it on the outside i will keep an eye on it same for any of you so if you do see this keep an eye on it right now i am going to give it a nice good cleaning on the outside and just watch that particular trail of poop and then just work it out from there failing that get a microscope and have a little look into Stuart's beekeeping tips uh, on how he does all his microscope um, or microscopy, scopy, something like that, um, into the aspects of Nosema, Nosema, um, and how that can be identified. Really fascinating, uh, but I haven't got that equipment yet to do that. But I may have to invest in it at this rate. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget, click like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one next week.